Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sapna here. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'll be sharing yet another interesting and vibrant African art. This has got some intricate freehand detailing and also two silhouette figures. I'll be painting on an OHP sheet and I'll be using various branded glass paints, mostly solvent based. I'll add details about the paints and the liners that I'll be using for this painting in the description below. So let's get started. I've already drawn a rough design on an A5 size paper and now I'm transferring the design onto the OHP sheet using this black glass liner from the brand Camel. Here you can notice that I've been using this glass liner for quite some time and only a bit of paint is left. As you can see I've squeezed the paint to the tip of the nozzle so that I'll get even lines. So I mostly get asked how to get even and uniform lines and this is a tip guys. Make sure that you don't press the tube in between. Always squeeze the paint till the tip of this tube so that you can use it easily by just pressing or applying uniform pressure. And as always, I prefer to apply the liner from one side to another or from top to bottom. And many of you had doubt if you can use the same technique on glass. Yes, definitely you can follow the same techniques. I'm just using OHP sheet because it's much easier for me to handle and store and also pack and ship. You can feel free to use a glass or a perspex or acrylic sheet and follow the same techniques. Now the outlining part is completely finished and I let it dry before starting to add the paint. So for this painting I am using paints from Camel, Pebio and Marabou Glass Art. All of them are solvent based. At certain portions I will use the skewer to apply the paint and at certain portions I prefer to blend it using a brush. Also yet another tip that I would like to share is don't restrict yourself from mixing two different paints. You will get certain amazing results uh, that will be unexpected and you would, you would definitely try it again. So don't restrict yourself, don't get scared, feel free to just play with the paint. Here I am going to mix the orange shade from Marabou and the earlier yellow shade that I, I applied was a solvent based paint from Camel. As you can see it is blending beautifully. Here again I am applying this brown shade from Pebio Vitrail. I am just dabbing it using a brush. Also you can notice that my bristles were really old and that itself will give a textured pattern on the surface. So as I mentioned earlier this was an unexpected result and I am absolutely loving this textured pattern or textured effect on this painting. So you can also experiment with various things not just brushes for this mark making and texture making on your paintings.
on this bottom portion also i'm thinking of blending it with orange and brown for the silhouette instead of brown i am applying a gray shade As you can see this grey shade from Fabio Vitrail has almost dried and is uh, very difficult to apply the paint at this point of time but since I am using this brush I am able to dab it. Now the painting part is finished and I let it dry and then start adding the details using glass liners. And this is the part that I enjoy the most. I always enjoy adding these tiny details using the glass liners. So this is a trial for me. As you can see I am using a thick line from camel silver liner and with this pin I am just creating these lines which itself will create a beautiful design. In this portion I am trying to add some thick silhouettes of tree trunks and branches. And on these bottom part also I am adding some freehand designs which are really spontaneous and I don't have any specific de designs for that. And this is how we completed the painting. And on this vacant portion where we haven't applied any paint, I'll be keeping this off-white burlap cloth. And you can see it just elevated the artwork to very next level. I just noticed that I haven't applied the detailing to this human figures and their accessories. So I'm using this golden liner.
and there we go so just to get a complete look of that i'll keep it in a mock frame which has black outline that is black frame with a 3 cm matte border and this is how it looks i hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please don't forget to try it yourself and if you share it on social media please feel free to tag me and as usual please don't forget to like comment and share this video with your creative friends or in case if you are new here please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button thank you for watching bye